Hello everyone and welcome to my Minecraft build tutorial. For specific parts of the video, just go to the timestamps in the comment section down below. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a quick starter house in Minecraft. Let's get straight into it. Before you want to get started on building, first you might want to get rid of some of the dirt in the environment. This is solely this is so this is so that the house fits more into the hill. I guess so there's so I guess just so there's more space for for you to build because building on the on some rugged walls can be a bit difficult, especially for people who haven't really played Minecraft that much before. Maybe. And yeah. So we're gonna be doing this. Oop. So we're going to be using four logs as a frame, and we're going to go be going up, up by three blocks, which is going to be a height of four by, to of, by total. Then we're going to connect them to the wall, so it looks like they're connected to. So it looks, so it looks like the house is actually connected to the to the hill, which I think is a pretty nice. Next up, we're going to be doing the the, the roof. So we're going to be doing the roof a bit differently because the the first block is going to be it's going to look strange at first, but it'll be fine. Watch. So we're going to be going here. Oop, bit of lag. We're going to be going up here. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just put some oak stairs over here. I'm just making sure I'm copying it correctly so it doesn't look awkward. Oh. A, bit of, a, a bit of lag there because this is a single player world and my computer isn't the greatest. And there you go. It looks a bit strange so we're going to add a bit more logs up here. And now we're going to connect the logs to each other. And there, perfect. Good looking. Now we're going to now we're going to continue the roof with some cobblestone. You could just continue doing it with wood, but I think doing it with cobblestone adds more um. How do I say? It, it adds more of a variety if you use cob. Oh wait, <laughs> I, I'm just. Oops, my bad. That using cobblestone adds more of a variety than just using wood all the time. I, you see, when you look at the house in real life, there's a bunch of different colors that you might you might not notice the first time you look at the house, but you can't just have purple and green next to each other. You gotta work with what you gotta stick with what works. Put that over here, and then up here. See cobblestone. And wood, even the villagers know that it matches. So we have ourselves a nice little roof, and then, and then we're gonna start working on the walls because every house is never completed without some good old walls. We're gonna start building up the walls here. Cave sound. The only bad thing about living inside a cave is that you might be living with cave sounds all your life. So those are the walls complete. It's a pretty quick house. Uh oh, it's raining. So yeah, pretty good looking house so far. Except we're gonna we're gonna start working on the inside. I'm gonna I'm gonna speed up this process so I'm because I don't think I could talk while mining without just going silent. So we're gonna start speeding this up. So the inside doesn't look too bad, but but the good thing about living in the cave is that look that you'll be gathering lots of stone, and you'll maybe you'll find some other resources like coal or iron, which there's a bunch of coal here for you to mine. So now we're going to start replacing all of this with spruce planks. I know there's no spruce planks around, 
but I per I really like spruce planks in general, so we're gonna be using those. You could use any type of wood you want. I just, oops, not there. Okay, there we go. I just prefer spruce planks a lot more. Birch is, I think birch is just too bright. No, I'm gonna extend this a bit more. So we're gonna do another speed up. So there, you've got your indoors. Now we're gonna now we're gonna make the walls a bit better. I'm gonna stick to the to the oak wood because I think most people would use oak wood, and oak wood is usually where you you have that where you spawn. So we're just gonna make things a bit more simpler. Let me just speed up all of this mining. So now we have the interior with all of its wood and its floor, but there's only one problem. There's nothing in it. So we'll, so now we're just gonna do some cool, we're just gonna do some quick decorating. We're just gonna have the basic stuff, the basic stuff, a bit of decoration, and I think it'll be pretty easy to get once you start your once you start once you've started your world and gathered a bit of resources. Well, that kind of scared me, but I thought it was a creeper explosion, but now I, but quickly I realized it was just lightning. We're going to be using two beds here because I think it looks better than just one bed and it looks a bit awkward. So we're going to be using two. You don't have to copy everything, but you know, just in case you want to copy everything, there you go. The furniture is around the corner and then here. I forgot where we're going to put our crafting table. Oops. Hmm. I guess we could take away those furnaces since we won't really be seeing them. Well, hold on, let me redesign this a bit. Alright, I think this looks a lot better than what we had before. So we have two we have two double chests, six barrels, and two furnaces, and a crafting table right over here. I think this is a pretty good little starter base for people who are just starting out in the game, which is white, which is what starter base means. And even if you want, if you have enough resources, then you could include a little painting over here. You know, just, you gotta make it fit first. There we go. Perfect. But no, now, if you, if you're done with the house, you don't want to add anything on the outside, then you oh my god the rain. If you just came for the house and nothing else, then you're good. You're good to go. You can leave now. You have you have all the essentials over here in the lice little in the in the light eh, lice. You have all the essentials in a nice little house with chest barrel. Barrel, furnace, crafting table, bed. You have everything you need. Looks pretty nice. So, wait, hold on. There we go. Looks even better. I love it. I would go over here, but I think that's too much. Because there is a thing called over-decorating. I think it's called over-decorating. 
you could actually put some you, should, you could put some pressure plates so you know a bit more convenient so you don't have to close the door every time you go inside your house i'll leave your house so if you want you could go now and i'll see you later bye bye now if you're still here you're probably wondering what i'm going to do next so first you might want to get a bit of we're going to get rid of more trees because just to make space for what we're going to do next All right, we have a pretty good pathway. Well, I just said we're going to do. We're going to be built. We're going to be making a little pathway, and that we're going to make a little. A, well, I'm not going to spoil everything. We're going to be making a quick pathway. So of course we're going to need some fences. First, we're going to put some fences up here, and some lanterns. You can put some torches if you want, but I'm going to go with lanterns because I think they look better, and I think they're a bit expensive if we're just starting out. But, oops, wrong one. But I think you they're a bit easier to craft once you're it, once you have at least full iron armor. You'll have more resources by then. So you could put yada 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 your your house and then yeah. Um, sign there if you're playing on the multiplayer server or just make it more homely by saying this is my house. And now we're gonna start making a little pathway. But like I said, we're we're building a pathway. So first we're gonna be making a little, a little fence. Oh, hey, Mr. B. We're gonna be making a little fence going in this direction because I don't think there's another direction we can go. And now, oh, hey, I think actually the B there is gonna be a bit a pretty good help. I'll explain why later. So we're gonna be going. We're gonna make a little pathway. And it might not look nice right now. But just wait, hold on, stay, stick with me. So you, right, using a shovel and you right click, you you actually can make a, a, a pathway, which is, it's literally called path, grass path. So you're gonna make a pathway up to your, make it a bit messy. Not, not in just a straight line like, like oops. Not just a straight line like this. This doesn't look natural unless you're going for something. But I just think this looks a lot more natural because you're just going in this direction. It's like you've been walking on this for a long time already. So now what you're going to do to add a bit more diversity is add some gravel blocks. You know, mix it up a bit. Because, like I said, you need the diversity in your blocks. Like with the roof. Now, over decorating is, is a bit of a problem. So... We just add uh, a bit, a little, a, a small amount of gravel blocks, and there you got yourself a pathway. We could add a bit more decoration by adding some stone, some stone buttons so you have to make it look like pebbles. See, it's a, it's a nice things that. Okay. Of course, we're going to be want. Of course, we want to light up the fences so torch, so so torches don't spawn, so, so creepers don't, so, so creepers don't blow up all your hard work. So we're going to put a torch under, on there. I'm gonna put a torch over here, a torch over here, and the torch over here. So yeah, going to night time. Time set. Time set. Night. Again with the rain. Pretty little area. I think it looks pretty nice. Along with the inside, pretty homely. So if you just wanted to come here for the diesel, you can go. No. You, because now this last section of the house is going to be purely survival based. Alright, if you're still here, then, then that means you want to... Oh, that bee just disappeared. If you're still here, you want to learn some survival tricks. Well, if you see what's in my inventory... Actually, no, stay blank. Then, you're, then you know we're going to be doing some good old farm work. See... I'm, I'm a bit of a sucker for giant wheat fields, and although this is no giant wheat field, I, I still think it's going to be, it's going to look pretty good. So, and it's important you just don't farm in a, in a cube or anything like that. You want to make it look a bit natural, like if you're doing it in real life. You're, 
you're also gonna want to light up the area around this farm too, so a creeper just doesn't blow up all your crops. Well, and I should let you know that, that mobs can destroy your crops, so you should probably build a small wall around them. I won't be building a wall in the in this video unless you want more upgrades on the house. So if you want more upgrades on the house, like, subscribe. Oh. Like, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And also, don't forget to turn on the bell, which is notifications. Oh, hold on. There we go. I'm gonna add a bit more water, just in case. There we go. Oh, I forgot to mention, here's where the bees come in. If you plant a lot of flowers around, or crops, then if you plant a lot of flowers around, then the bees are actually going to pollinate your crops, which will make them grow faster, so it's a pre pretty good win if you build your house next to, next to a beehive. Since there's not much of a real hassle, well, it is a bit of a hassle to actually get bees to work, since you, I think you need a silk touch pickaxe. But if you just build your house and you put your farm next to a beehive, you're good to go. So now we're just gonna wait until the until the farm, the seeds, grow into majestic wheat. Nice. Look at that amazing wheat field. Don't you think so? So now we're just gonna do, put un unnecessary details, like making a small little chimney on top of our house because chimneys. I think they look pretty good. Yeah, they look pretty good in general, especially with rustic houses. So you're gonna, you might want to make one of those if I, if you find any, any clay around to enter them into bricks. So there you go, a nice little starter house. Throw on some bone meal to add some, you know, flowers and everything, some grass. Well, you all, you want to regulate though. You want to regulate. You can't just spam bone meal. Don't put it in front of your path because you, I think I don't think it looked that great. It's up to you though. You spam bone meal if you want. I just don't think it's a good idea. So there, a pretty good starter house, and they right, and he just got a good thumbnail. So if you, so if you enjoyed this build tutorial, like, comment, subscribe. And if you want any any more build tutorials, let me know. This is this was my first one, so I hope you enjoyed it.